Hey, thanks for joining us on this edition of the Council Recap. Council met Monday, September 16th, 5.30 in the Council Chambers. First, first item of business was um, setting the uh, preliminary uh, property tax levy for payable 2020. Um, this was an amount of $7,150,000, uh, a 4.03% increase. Uh, we also have the Truth and Taxation hearing December 4th. Um, that residents can come and uh, express any concerns that they have. Uh, this is uh, the second to last step in the budget process. The last part is in December where we certify our final levy, um, but the preliminary levy, this amount is what will go out to taxpayers in your tax statements and what you'll see that you can anticipate for taxes in 2020. Um, I guess this is a long uh, process that starts in June and we work forward to this point to approve the preliminary levy um, so councils put a lot of work on that and approve that uh, to move forward next item of business was use of contingency funds for some exterior lighting at the public library um, council approved that in the amount of six thousand twenty five dollars out of the 2019 contingency funds uh, this accommodated a little bit of overage uh, for the cost that we anticipated there uh, because of some unforeseen costs related to that project. Uh, we also um, added a property, Stivers Nursery was interested in being added to the city's um, deer hunt, um, so the council approved that uh, being uh, acceptable to our criteria to be able to have folks safely uh, hunt deer there. They've had a lot of problems with uh, deer um, eating their stock. Um, we also had a memorandum of agreement with the police supervisors unit. Uh, this provides a cost of living increase from January 1st, 2019 of 2.25%, um, retroactive to that point. Um, council approved that. Moving on, we had donation of a fire trailer that was a cooperative effort between Albert Lee Medford and Owatonna. Uh, the repairs of the trailer were going to exceed its value and as a result, we just felt it was easier to donate that to the Owatonna Fire Department. Council approved that. We also approved a towards zero death grant for overtime at the police department to help with traffic enforcement. That amount is $19,075. Um, so council approved receiving that uh, grant to help with overtime uh, costs associated with traffic enforcement. We also approved um, a zoning uh, and subdivision code update Following our 2016 comp plan changes, there were recommendations as part of that to move forward with changing our zoning code and subdivision ordinance. Uh, that amount to do that review is uh, just shy of $80,000. Uh, the last time we've updated that was in 1970s, um, so quite a long time uh, for us to do that. We want to be compliant with state and federal codes. Um, our land and land use that's regulated by the zoning code is our greatest asset in being able to complement um, and deliver the final um, zoning uh, realities of the use of people's land. We want to make sure that's done in the most constructive manner possible. So we approve that and we'll move forward with WSB uh, for those amendments to our zoning and subdivision code. Otherwise we round it out with a few properties for uh, removal of junk or legally stored vehicles. Council approved those uh, provisions, otherwise that concluded the council meeting. If you have any of, any questions on this or any other items with the city, don't hesitate to give me a call. 437-9941, uh, would love to hear from you. Otherwise that or shoot me an email at craigc at ci.austin.mn.us um, if email is a little more convenient for you. So I'd uh, love to hear from you. Take care. Have a great rest of the week.